how are you, are you managing it, man, this pandemic? I mean, are all the hotels back open again, or are you opening and closing hotels? Um, we are opening um, more hotels every day. You know, at the height of the pandemic, I would say about 25% or thereabouts of the hotels were closed. And it's different in every region, as you can appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I want to say in the US, we are less than 5% closed. So we've opened for the most part. It is different in different parts of the world, as I mentioned. Uh, Europe, I want to say we still have 18 to 20% uh, closed and, and that will change as government regulations change. Right, right. Um, so we're monitoring you know, things very closely, obviously looking at government regulations and then looking at what's happening in the sort of micro geographic location for the hotels. Uh, which will then, you know, tell you whether it makes sense to open or not. And then balancing that, you know, with the owner's financial situation, you know, does it make sense to open? What are the mark? What is the demand for that particular market? Uh, what are the labor costs? Does it, uh, you know, again, is it prudent to open the hotel? Are you finding that your luxury hotels tend to open later and mid-scale are opening before them? Is, is that how it's working? Um, to be honest, it is different, again, by region. So I would say in the U.S., what you just said is absolutely uh, correct, uh, where we are seeing uh, the extended stay hotels mm -hmm. really doing the best, yeah. which logically you would think, okay, that makes sense because extended stay hotels would generally have a little kitchenette. And mm -hmm. so you can be fairly self-sustained in that environment. And so we've seen those hotels do really well. We've also seen uh, a lot of the select service hotels do well because even as people are getting out and driving, you know, the drive market um, are doing well. And so the select serve hotels are recovering faster. Now for luxury, I would say uh, hotels in general, I'd say luxury and premium hotels yeah. in general in resort or mountain or countryside locations are trying to do well because that's where people are wanting to go not so much downtown but where can i go where i can feel safe because there's social distancing i can enjoy the outdoors uh national parks that kind of thing yeah. Yeah. Um, and and i would say by and large that is uh, the case not just in the us but uh, fairly internationally sure.